Alrighty then. Here's hoping that you had a fantastic uh, weekend. This is just a lunch and learn with Prosper. <coughs> I don't know if I've got my voice going, but it's all good. Let's get this going. Alright, uh, Nicole, thank you so much for tuning in. I don't know, when I started this, um, when I started this show uh, earlier on, it was frozen, so I didn't think anybody was seeing me. How are you doing? Thank you so much for tuning in, Nicole. Great stuff. I hope everybody had a fantastic weekend, and I hope that, uh, you know, you probably spend it with your loved ones, doing whatever it is that you actually enjoy. Jordan Madrid, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm um, hoping that you also had a fantastic weekend. Scott Woodrow, thank you so much for tuning in there. Uh, Shu Vang, thank you also for tuning in. I hope everyone has um, uh, is well rested for the weekend and everything else is working according to how you like it. Omaru, thank you so much. Scott, thank you so much. Right, as, as most of you guys know... Um, Basically, my mission, uh, Robert, I hadn't seen you in the starting lineup. I thought I, I had missed you there. Um, you know, basically, that I believe that, um, you know, every online business should be profitable and enjoyable. And I also really believe that, um, you know, as online business people, we should be able to create for and relate to those that we're going to be taking money off of. And I also, um, you know, help people through uh, digital marketing strategies and I have a simple four-step system that I normally teach. So, you know, if, if that's of interest to you, let me know and I'll be happy to, uh, uh, you know, walk you through that. David Chisomenje, thank you so much for tuning in. Africa Kate, thank you so much for tuning in. You might hear my voice is a little bit hoarse. Over the weekend, um, we were out in Adelaide uh, celebrating. Uh, it's called the Zimbabwe... Uh, annual, um, you know, uh, Zim Achievers uh, Awards. So I had been nominated for uh, Entrepreneur of the Year, but obviously there were other really high quality uh, contenders. And shout out to my men, Guardian Mushangwe, who took the prize for Entrepreneur of the Year. Um, you know, it was well deserved. Everybody else, you know, put out a good fight. Thank you, everybody else that was there. Dave Kalb, thank you so much for tuning in. All right, and um, yeah, so today I'm actually really talking about something that might seem very obvious, but my experience when I went to Adelaide or when I was talking to people in Adelaide literally shocked me, all right? Um, I never leave the house, as you would know. Melvin A. Taylor, thank you so much for tuning in. I never leave the house. My office is here. Everything that I need to do is here in the house. I speak to people on social media on a live like this or... I speak to people on Zoom. That's how I conduct my meetings or over the phone. But the amount of people that know so much about what I do, who I do it for and who I hang out with and things like that, it's out of this world, okay? I had no idea the impact of this show. I had no idea the impact of the work that we're putting out there. I had no idea the impact of the social media presence that we're putting out there in how much is changing people's lives, how much it's changing people's livelihood, and how much it's actually helping people to be, do, and have either a happy existence or um, a business that's profitable and enjoyable. I do understand, yes, that every single day when we sit around here, we're talking life-changing things, but I did not know the intensity of it all up until I was shown First hand, some guy, old enough guy in front of me in Adelaide started crying on how I had changed his life. When I grew up, I never knew any of this existed. When I, when I was growing up, I never knew, um, you know, that you could just sit here and help people be, do and have now, to me, that moved me a little bit. I mean, everybody else was drunk um, that had a fair amount to drink. But for someone at their age to come through and say, man, because of you, my life is taking shape. Because of you, my business now has direction. I felt humbled. So thank you all so much for the support. And if there's anything that I can um, help you out with, you know, I'm more than happy to, um, you know, field a few calls with you guys. And that really made me realize that your life story and your experience or expertise has a lot of market value than you can possibly perceive off of your own. 
Do you know what I mean? When somebody comes to you and then tells you it's your knowledge, it's your expertise, you have motivated me, you've made me see what's possible. And without you even trying, you should start respecting social media in in and of itself, in and of it, what it offers and what it does and the impact it has on other people's lives. All right. So in as much as you can just put up a status update, hoping that, you know, you make yourself feel better by putting other people down. There's a lot of impact that social media is doing. And if you really want to hone in on that impact, I want to show you today how you can actually be your true self on social media. First of all, you will help other people be, do and have a happier existence. And second of all, you will just be a normal human so that when people meet you offline, they, you don't have to introduce yourself. This weekend showed me how powerful these Facebook lives are. This weekend showed me the intensity of what we're doing and the magnitude of this work and the power of social media when you actually then meet the people in real life. I had no idea how impactful this this um, this whole thing is. And I really appreciate those that are tuning in right now. I really appreciate those that will be tuning in, um, you know, in uh, post-production. And if I have helped you with anything, this is amazing. Thank you so much, Robert, for what you're saying there. Um, I had a whole lot of people that I had not, um, I have met them, but I did not know they're watching this show. They all know everything that I do. They know how I help people. And some of them are now, you know, now that they've met me in person, it's sort of solidified, um, you know, how, how it works. You know how Gary Vaynerchuk walks around in the city and people are taking photos with him. That's how it felt like when I was at the event. You know, even if I didn't win that award, to me, I think I won a whole lot more. Because now people know who I am, now people trust me, and now people understand what my mission is. I really, really appreciate that, all right? So to the organizers and uh, Trevor Manyame, I know you'll be watching this a little bit later. Thank you so much, okay? Now, back to you guys. What, there's one thing about social media. It depends what it is that you come to the internet for. Some people are coming to the internet for information. Some people are coming to the internet to uh, spread word about their business or their mission. You need to figure out how can you be your true self on social media so that it translates into your bank account or so that it translates into cash or money you know, for you to look after your family. I mean, attention is an amazing thing. It helps us to know, you know, you know that we actually matter in life. You know what I mean? It can be received on so many levels and it can create deeper connections, first off with your loved ones and maybe with strangers that are living on another side of the world. If they're giving you attention and if you're helping them, um, you know, with, with their work, with their life and making their lives better, I promise you, you will enjoy your stay on social media and you will feel fulfilled in your, um, you know, entire being. I had the whole evening, people wanting to know how they too can, can do what I'm doing. It felt so good. Do you know what I mean? There's so many important people that were at that um, event, but the attention that I was getting because people already know who I am. It was out of this world. You will notice that as well. You know, in recent, in recent, um, in recent years in social media, we've been told to express our uniqueness. You know, we've been told to express who we are so we can celebrate the aura of our own souls. How many people are doing that online right now? Steve Thomas say, Thompson says, I'm always myself. Yes. And that's the reason why you and me get, get um, you know, that we, we, we get along, man. You know, you can just pick up the phone and I call you and I'm speaking to the authentic you. All right, because some people assume a different persona when they come online. Some people have a different perspective of who they are. And I think it shouldn't be any different. Do you know what I mean? Because now we've got an abundance of expression. It comes with the urge for you to amplify or want to tweak the essence of who you are. And in the process, you lose your self-identity. You know? And Robert says, I'm building just that, building those soul connections. Some people will do anything to, to ensure that they start receiving attention or likes from people, even if it's not being their true self. What would then happen now if people catch up with you in real life? 
You know? See, sometimes we don't even know what others are thinking. So we, we now start to spin, you know, our own conclusions that maybe people would like this about me. But no, people like authentic individuals, you know, and for the purpose of this show today, I want to break down a little bit uh, about the attention that people get online as well as offline. All right. One other thing, though, if you're watching this video, ensure that your profile picture represents your true face. Because I was meeting a lot of people and they're saying, oh my God, I like your stuff. And it felt bad because I couldn't recognize who they were, but I just played along. And that's the offline, um, you know, bit that I'm talking about there. So your offline attention is easy to assess. You know, you'd notice that maybe your loved ones or people that are around you, you know, they haven't been giving you that much attention. You can easily ask them. Do you know what I mean? You'd be like, hey, I've noticed you. You haven't, you know, given me a kiss or a hug every time I come back from work. Is anything wrong? You know, and then it might result in a slight awareness of shift. I mean, shift shifting in awareness of knowing um, what the other person thinks about you instantly. But the online space is difficult now. It's not as, as logical and it's not as honest. There's people that will be sitting in the audience. They don't even like anything. They don't even comment. But it doesn't mean they're not there. All right? It doesn't mean that they don't, they're not there. And there's no way you're going to private message somebody or hundreds of your friends and say, Hey, we're friends on Facebook. Why are you not commenting on anything that I do? It's not possible, is it? Gretel, how are you going? And thank you so much for looking after my little girl this weekend. Thank you so much. Yeah? You see, our assumption is usually that what we're putting out to the world is, is us. is who we are. And, and everybody else should just accept it. But you should understand that if you're not making other people's lives better, if you're not changing other people's perceptions, and if you're not contributing, and you're not being your true self, sometimes, you know, you won't get that reassurance that you're looking after. Because people can spot a genuine person, um, you know, from a fake person. If you're just putting up a show, when you then meet up with those people, um, you know, in, in real life, they, they probably don't have anything to talk with you because you don't have the depth that they're looking for. You know, even... Even the best fishermen, I, I don't know if you guys know um, of the reference I'm about to put out there. The best fishermen with the best bait, the best equipment, have sometimes sad days when they ride back home from shore when they haven't caught any fish. So don't try and put out a, pers a persona that is not you. Because when you really go out there in the open, when you meet those people that you're trying to get money off of, they can spot a fake person from a mile away. You know, you know, maybe your thoughts right now may be the same as that fisherman who is going out and coming back home without dinner. Start asking yourself, what, where did I go wrong? The truth is you haven't done anything wrong. It's not your job to anticipate the market. It's not your job to anticipate the attitude of others. So whether, whether they give you that attention or it, it could be impacted by how they feel at that particular moment. But if you're consistent, if you're constant, and if you're genuinely, you know, putting your best foot forward, you will notice that people will start gravitating towards your work, people towards your, your products, or whatever it is that you've got to, to offer. The important message here is not to react to feedback so that it then mm, it helps you calibrate who you become. Sometimes it doesn't even matter. You might have 500 likes just because you're showing some skin. And when it comes to the real stuff that will help people, sometimes people won't even go with that. So go with your true inner guidance. Go with your true genuine self. Whether people like it or not, there's always going to be somebody who will, you know, who will get something off of the message you're putting out there. I understand Sometimes you might feel like if you're putting yourself out there, you're seeking attention. But how are you going to sell your, your products? How are you going to sell your message? How are you going to sell your services? So to be a true self, your true self online is literally what other people are looking for because they buy you. They buy what is in you that they too um, would want for themselves. 
So when you're going on social media or online, know what your purpose is. What are you there to contribute? What are you there to be or to represent? You know, this point is not, you know, just directed to, to business owners. It, it applies to everybody else. And I believe more importantly to people who use social media for personal use and sometimes maybe for business. It's so easy to get swept away. And if you don't know what you're doing there, if you don't know what you're doing online, you will be swept away and follow the flavor of the month, which leaves you unauthentic or you're not being genuine to your true self. So what do you do? You spend a few minutes, write down exactly who you are and what you intend to get out of your online en engagement. Why are you doing what you're doing? This reflection on its own will help you recognize your true reactive emotional reasons behind your desire to be online. Are you there to be entertained? Are you there to inform? Are you there to impact other humans? Once you've got your why settled, why are you online? And then it will make it a whole lot easier for you to either put content or engage with people that are on the same uh, sheep as yours. You may ask yourself, why are you on, on, on social media right now? Can you type in the comments there? Why are you on social media? Why do you come on Facebook? What is your mission to be on social media? Simao, man, how's it going? Como estas? Some people might be here to connect with close friends. Some people might be here to share thoughts with the world, you know, through their beautiful videos, um, through their beautiful images, through their beautiful words. Some people might be here to grow their business. What is your purpose to be on social media right now? Is it because you're lonely? Is it because you're bored? Is it because it's just a distraction to what's happening in your life? And Scott says you're here to connect with positivity. Exactly. So the more you know your intentions, then you seek out that positivity. And when you see things that are negative, you either unfollow that person or you don't participate in any of that negativity. You know, sometimes it won't be comforting, but ultimately let, you know, it would let you be a little bit happier and more accepting for who you are. When you know your intentions on social media, then your mission is known. And people would know how to associate with you. It's not, it's not a matter of judgmenting or judging you for, for, for what, you, you, what you represent, etc. It's just for you being cu curious so that if you've got clarity on why you are on social media, it makes it easier for the other people to also um, you know, uh, understand what your mission is. There's also another thing. About, about being online, that makes people not become their true self, is they are not aware of who they personally are. You know? Let's face it. The selfie is here to stay. You know? And some other people would want to know what your face looks like behind an online profile. But I've heard that up, about 36% of the people they have admitted to altering and enhancing their selfies so that their perception of who they look like or the perception of their image, they want other people to see them in a different light. And the rest just won't admit it. So if you're in this group of people, even if you're trying to perfect your selfie, break that pattern a little bit. Upload a picture that was taken by somebody else with that putting a filter on it or editing it. And even if you hate it, just stay strong. Because that's, uh, that's how the world sees you. You know? Because your need for acceptance would make you not be seen. Let go of, of controlling or, 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 or the control that you have towards your own personal image. It is actually really, really, really necessary to stop caring about what people think of you so that you can be your best version. Yeah, and never lose sight of your purpose. Once you've figured out what your true purpose is, because I know so many people have started out with a purpose to either inspire, to teach and to connect, and then they get caught up. 
You know, some of you started when they wanted to promote health, happiness, and some of you had a mission to change the world. But you know, over the course of many months and time, you start seeing what's happening, people liking certain uh, things in your niche, and then you start coping that and you lose your true essence. Just stay true to your mission. You know? And Robert says the need for acceptance is a dangerous thing that is easily exploited by unsavory people. Exactly. Over time, there's going to be a shift. There's always fashion. Fashion is always coming in and out. Don't do things just because you've seen other people doing it. Because like I always say, no finger is the same height. What worked for Sally is not going to work for you. You know? It may just be a moment that triggers all of this. But the simple thing of maybe uh, sharing an image from a holiday with, with a bikini... And then, and then people suddenly, you know, start liking that. Obviously, yes, people will like it because there's no clothing that's being shown on that image. And when you start getting that attention, you feel like that's the side of you that you should constantly be sharing. So just be consistent with who you are and be aware of who your audience is, what message you want to give to people around you. They would appreciate you being authentic than you trying to be something else that you're not. Because any attention is easy, you know, but is that going to keep you happy? You know, I think it was uh, Nelson Mandela. I think it was Nelson Mandela. I'm not quite sure. He says that, you know, as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people the permission to do the same. You know, because once you liberate yourself from your own fear, your own presence, you automatically liberate other people as well. So stay true to who you are and what it is that you say, um, you know, you, you, you're going to be offering. And create as many ways for people to see your true light. Because human beings, just like you and me, we're spectacular beings. We've got so much to offer. We've got so much love to give, so much knowledge, impact and importance. And we've never had this much opportunity to express exactly who we are so that other people can learn from us. Because like I always say, we're here to live, we're here to learn, and we're here to contribute. And if you've lived, other people want to learn from you because we learn from mistakes. So people cannot, um, you know, learn everything. I mean, people cannot make all the mistakes, so they need to learn from you as well. That's the part that you contribute. So put out content, write, sing, dance, make movies, even create memes. What do you call them? Memes or memes. Do voice memos, do live videos like this, whatever you can think of. Do you know what I mean? There's probably an app or a social network that is ready for you to share that part of you that is authentic to your true self. Because if you're not giving up to other people, what do you expect to be getting in return? And when you do then meet those people in, offline, add energy to the offline relationships. Because as humans, we are designed and wired to be social beings. So as human, you need to be connecting with people offline and, 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 and online. You know, when was the last time you actually reached out to an old friend or, or you know, in person and had a coffee with them? When was the last time you reached out to people that constantly are in your network and in the same time and you, you want to just meet up with them? You could ask yourself, you know, these two questions here before your next catch up. What can you do to make somebody's life better? It's not always about yourself. If you can't find how to make yourself happy, find the joy in other people. That's the reason why we're connecting on social media, right? If you're not making somebody else's life better, then I think you're wasting your time. You know? Thank you so much, Chantal. And Chantal, we get to meet on Friday, right? And you're going to meet my daughter too. Thank you so much for um, inviting me to be the MC of your uh, show on Friday. You know? Samoa says, relationship to keep contact with peeps in different countries. I realize the power of connection in here applies to business as well. Definitely. Reach out to people that you can help. Find out, is there something that you've been talking about that you can help other people and, you know, even, even in, in person? You know? 
Because on the other side of spending quality time with friends and people, you, 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 you learn so much. You know, and people actually then keep you in check. They keep you accountable to your message. They keep you accountable to everything else that you're talking about. Ngoma Langton, it was really good meeting you in Adelaide. Thank you so much for, for, for a great time and, 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 and the respect and the love that you guys showed me. All right? Because a true friend, like I was saying, will let you know if they feel you're acting in line with your own particular values. Because if you're not in tune with your values, nobody is going to understand why you do what you do and then you feel like people are ignoring you. All right? See, my, my goal here isn't, isn't to make you hate social media, but I want you to understand why you are using it and who you become when you are online. How you use it has nothing to do with, with the way other people use it because we're out here to connect with other souls so that we can learn from them, we can feed off of each other. So strive to uncover your true self and let it shine. Don't try and be somebody else or something else that you're not. Because if you're going to attempt to please other people, you can't please everyone. And if you change your core values, then people won't find a need to want to connect with you. That stops your business. That stops people even wanting to connect with you. That stops people even want to refer clients to you. Your goal in life is to be seen, to, 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 to contribute, and to be yourself. Everybody else is taken. You know? I'm going to leave you with this quote from, um, I think it's Jim Carrey. And I think it sums it up in one sentence. Your need to be accepted will make you invisible in this world. You're here to live, you're here to learn, and you're here to contribute to the greater humanity. Because your life story and your experience have greater commercial value than you could ever think of. You know, you're here to make a difference in this world, and the best way to do that is to package your knowledge, your experience, and your own essence so that other people can learn off of you. And what a great time right now that we have utilizing social media so you can put out that energy, you can help other people be, do, and have a happier existence. And in the process, you make yourself happy too. And never lose sight of your purpose. Because once you know your purpose, once you know what you're here to contribute, it becomes a whole lot easier for other people to connect with you and find out what is it that they need to learn from you. And it just makes you a happy person. Because as you know, my mission is to make sure that your business is profitable and is enjoyable. You can only make profit by connecting with other human beings because on the other side of human beings, that's where credit cards leave. All right? So no one is going to pay you money if they're not happy about you, if they're not, you know, they're not motivated by you or if they're not learning anything from you. So utilize this space that we've been given for good and never lose sight of your own purpose just trying to chase the next, um, you know, shiny object. So if you've got any um, questions about today's show, let me know. I'm more than happy to, um, to help you out because I know one thing for sure. You can get paid for sharing your advice and how-to information, all right? And in the process, you can build a lucrative and um, profoundly meaningful life. I want you to be happy. I just want you to enjoy your existence. I want Mondays to feel like it's the best day ever. But you can only do that if you're putting out, um, you know, good intentions. Because garbage in, garbage out. What you put out is what you get back. So you want to be putting out your best foot forward. You want people to understand who you are. You want people to actually know, like, and trust you. And they start doing business with you. If you really enjoyed today's show, please share this video. All right. For me, it's no longer a popularity contest. I just really want people to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And if you've shared it, just type in share. I will send you a small gift in, in, in your mailbox.
In the meantime, I hope this is going to be a fantastic week for you guys. Happy Monday to everybody else that's watching this on the Monday. And if you're watching this in post-production, just give us your, 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 your feelings and what you think about today's show. In the meantime, go out there and do what makes you happy and be the original self that you are. Stop trying to be anybody else because everybody else is taken. Thank you, Robert, for sharing. And everybody else, please share this. Bye for now.